The President, uh, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Before we proceed to the court prosecutor to put uh, further questions to the witness, the chamber would like uh, to inform part, the civil party Clangfit and Romam Yun that you are now accused and can return to your places. Wesu unit uh, is now advised or instructed to make sure that uh, the two civil parties can return home safe and sound. The civil parties, both of them, will be summoned again, again but uh, most likely not uh, Next week, Mais they will be called sometime next year on January, and parties janvier. will be informed in due course uh, when the witnesses, uh, the civil parties, are uh, summoned. We would like uh, to now proceed to Charles the co-prosecutor co to pour la proceed de with the questions Long to Long Norin. Mr. President, if I could, just before, um, it uh, obviously has been a little bit difficult to, to proceed with the with the examination, and I will try to move it along as, as quickly as we can, but it, uh, I did want to uh, advise the court at this point that we do expect we will need some time tomorrow morning to finish, given, given the... Uh, um, uh, the difficulties with uh, doing the video questioning, so I would ask at this time whether um, we may be provided that time so we can plan to go probably until mid-morning tomorrow if that is acceptable to the court. The President, uh, Yesterday, international co-prosecutor already Hier indicated this uh, to the chamber. The chamber will find uh, or will see the possibility, and uh, the public have already been informed that uh, the hearing on this uh, civil part uh, witness uh, will be conducted uh, for a period of uh, one and, and a half day, and if uh, due to any technical problem or perhaps uh, we cannot really conduct the full hearing or examination of the witness uh, during uh, the scheduled uh, time, then the we prévu, may take a Friday uh, for another uh, hearing uh, of uh, the witness. You may now proceed with the questions. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Longnerin, before before we Question, talk Monsieur about uh, the period when you returned to Cambodia, um, two more questions uh, regarding the radio station. Um, first question is, who, who drafted uh, the materials, the messages that were broadcast uh, on the funk radio from Hanoi? Response. 
Her Excellency Ying Tirut uh, was the director of the radio station. It was her who managed this, who made sure that uh, the radio station functioned properly. Do you know, was there any communications between the radio station in Hanoi and the leaders of the resistance who were located in Cambodia at the time? Response. Yes, I oui. do, but uh, there were instructions from within Cambodia with regard to this. Even the broadcasting itself. Y compris sur les émissions. Could you tell us uh, about the instructions that you just mentioned? What, what type of instructions? I'm not sure if you heard my question, um, Mr. Longren. My question is what type of instructions uh, were received from the leaders in Cambodia? Response. I'm afraid uh, I don't know about this because uh, such instructions could be sent uh, through telegrams uh, that transferred uh, all the way to the radio station. How did you know that instructions were being provided by leaders in Cambodia to the radio station? Response, uh, the communication was channeled through the air, uh, even the air. messages or communications uh, to be broadcast uh, on the radio Et station had to be prepared from within the Kim within Cambodia and sent uh, to the radio station, radio. Uh, I mean news articles. Les dépêches, par Do you know who it was in Cambodia who was preparing the messages to be broadcast on the radio? Response. It's beyond my knowledge because it was uh, the team, radio team in the country who was in charge. I myself would be in charge of transcribing or the, uh, uh, from translating the codes into the language that can be broadcast. Thank you. What, what areas uh, did the, did the uh, radio station broadcast to? What areas or, or what countries did you broadcast to? Response. The broadcast was meant to be broadcast. Uh, broadcasting was meant to be broadcast both to the uh, within the country and to um, foreign countries. 
à l'intérieur et aussi Did au you broadcast to Cambodia? Est-ce que vous diffusiez vers le Cambodge? Response, yes. Um, oui. Broadcasting was also made uh, to Cambodia. Diffusé aussi vers le Cambodge. The news articles, uh, news content uh, was uh, prepared in Cambodia, sent to radio station in Hanoi, and broadcast back to Cambodia. And do you know, did you broadcast to all of Cambodia or just to the liberated uh, liberated zones? The response. It depends on the contents of the messages. De la teneur For example, de par exemple. if it was about the organization of a cooperative, sur then the broadcasting had to be uh, uh, done toward, uh, uh, to cover the cooperatives. Pour couvrir les cooperatives. What other types of um, subjects do you remember being broadcast in addition to uh, cooperatives? Response. Uh, I'm afraid I don't recollect uh, them because it has been very long time ago. Thank you. Let's talk now about when you returned to Cambodia. When when you returned to Cambodia from Hanoi, did you go to Phnom Penh or did you go somewhere else in the country first? Response, I came to Cambodia through the Ho Chi Minh Trail because I uh, went all the way from Beijing to Hanoi and through the Ho Chi Minh Trail to Stung Trang, Croce, Kampong Cham, then Phnom Penh. Did you spend any time in Kampong Cham uh, working for the party there before uh, you came to Phnom Penh? Response, no, I didn't uh, work in Kampong Cham. We only spent overnight there and uh, we then took a uh, a car all the way to Phnom Penh. Do you remember an office that was called B20? Could you please repeat your question, says uh, Long Noren. My question is whether you ever worked at an office that was known as B20. Response. Immediately upon returning from Hanoi, we... Uh, I, I did not really stop by B20. I uh, went straight to Kampong Cham, to K1, and to Phnom Penh. 
Kampong Cham, Ka An, Phnom Penh. Please tell the court Question. what K1 was. Je vais vous dire à la cour ce qu'est K1. Ça Response. It, it was uh, B1, not uh, K1. It was the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the B1 office that you said you uh, went to when you returned from Hanoi, where was it located? Response. B1 was located at uh, the intersection, at, at, no, at the, at the villa, at the intersection. Dans la villa au carrefour. You're referring to a location in Phnom Penh, is that correct? Vous parlez d'un endroit qui se trouve à Phnom Penh, est-ce exact? Mr. Samnang, Mr. President, could you please ask the, the co-prosecutor to put the question again, please? The President, uh, Mr. Co-prosecutor, could you please repeat the question? Because uh, the witness seemed to uh, have not catched uh, what you actually asked him. I may not have heard your, your complete answer, but the, the location that you were describing for B1, could you repeat uh, that location? And was, were, was this a location in Phnom Penh? Response. B1 was located B1 near the Ministry of Social Affairs. Des Affaires Sociales. It used to be the Cabinet of Ministers, but I don't know what it is now. Avant le because I have never been in Phnom Penh ever since. Mais je ne sais pas ce qu'il est devenu parce que je ne suis plus retourné à Phnom Penh depuis. Okay. Before we talk about the period that you worked at B1 in Phnom Penh, I just want to make sure that before you came to Phnom Penh in April 1975, uh, did, you, did you work at an office located in Stung Trang in Kampong Cham province? It was at a very late date uh, that Ça, I went to work at Stung Trong. When, when was it that you went to work at Stung Trong? Response. It was uh, when Cambodia was in peace already. I stopped by at Stung Trang for a while before I came to Phnom Penh and then moved back to that location. How long were you at Stung Tren and what did you do there? Response, I had been in Stung Trang for six months dealing with farming. We planted uh, potatoes, corns, 
and other crops. Et d'autres choses encore. And was this before or after uh, the country was liberated on 17 April 1975? Could you please repeat the question? I think I don't remember the response. Because uh, during the liberation day, I was not sure if I was the I was in Stung Trong or I already back in Phnom Penh. Do you remember the name of the office that you worked at in Stung Tren? In Stung Trong, I worked at B20. First, at B20, then I moved to work at B15. What was the function of B20 and B15? What did they do? At B20, I did farming, I grew vegetables and eggplants, etc. When I was at B15, it was more precise that I planted crops, vegetables, and do farming. Who was in charge of these these two sites, B20 and B15? The, they were cadres uh, from the base. I do not remember their names. During the period you were located at B20 and B15, did you have any contact with the leaders of the party? Response, uh, back then I was a combatant, so I had to obey orders. Whenever they wanted me to go, I had to go, wherever. Did you also at one point work in Prey Vahir? Mr. Samnang, uh, Mr. President, uh, witness cannot really hear the translation clearly, and now he asked uh, for leave to go to the bathroom. The President, uh, you may now go to the bathroom as you wish.
President, uh, co-prosecutor, you may now proceed uh, with your questioning and uh, repeat the final question you put to him. And uh, Mr. Nyam Samnang, could you please listen carefully to the question and be ready to help him by repeating the question to him if you feel that he may not understand the question and uh, it would be very helpful and expeditious indeed because uh, we want to uh, avoid uh, the situation where he cannot understand the question and you understand the question but you stay idle so it doesn't help any uh, any one of us, so could you please be advised on that? Uh, the co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, what I was asking uh, when we had our break, Mr. Long Naren, is whether after you worked at B-20 and B-15, whether you then uh, moved to Prevahir and worked, worked in that area. Response. I worked at B20, then B15. And Previ here. I did want to work at Previ here. Who asked you to go work in Previ here? Response. Response. The head of the office Le chef du called me to go to Privy here. À Privy here. However, however, the person who asked me to do things in Privy here was Nguyen Chia and Kiu Sampan, these two people advised me to study from the people, about the people in Prévihir. When did you first meet Mr. Nguyen Chia? Response. Before I went to Prévi here, I met him the first time. Where did you meet him? Response. Before moving to Prévi here, I had to go to B20 where I met both of them. And I were, was then uh, instructed uh, what to do at Prévi here. Had you met either Mr. Noon Chea or Mr. Q Samplan before this occasion? Response. Response. The war at that time was almost over. La guerre à ce moment-là était presque finie. My question was: Was this the first time that you that you met uh, Ms. Nunchea and Q Sampan? Thank 
Response. It, it was the, the only first time I met uh, them. I mean, th that time was the first encounter with oui, them. Bien la première fois que je les ai When you met Noon Chair and Kusampan at the B20 office, uh, who, who did you understand they were? What was your understanding as to what their positions were? Response. I did not know what roles they held. I, I just knew their public role. I knew that they were leaders. Leaders of, of what? Question. Les dirigeants de quoi? Response. I only Réponse. knew that they were leaders, but Tout leaders of what institution? Ils des uh, Mais I am afraid I, I don't de know. De institution? Je ne sais pas. I only knew that I was asked to go down to Prévier here to je sais, je Prévier see the people and to find out what people needed pour, euh, y voir les gens et and that I was also advised not to Uh, ask uh, for a return to Phnom Penh even the war uh, was over. They asked me Penh, si to remain in uh, that location, I mean in Prévihir, Prévihir, until I received any further Just notification from the leaders. Que je reçois, euh, de did, did they explain why they want? Uh, did they explain why they wanted you to wait? in Prévihir here until they gave you further notice? Response, they did not uh, tell me any further than asking me to wait uh, for a telegram they would send uh, to me before I could return. Where was it that they were able to send telegrams Question. to you in Prévihir? I did not know how Réponse. telegrams were sent. So when I was in Prévy here, I stayed at the village chief's house. À Prévier, And so dans the la maison village de chef chief de village. gave me the telegram. Et le chef de village m'a remis le telegram. Who was the telegram from and what did it say? Qui était l'expéditeur du telegram et quelle en était la teneur? The telegram Réponse. told me to go back to Phnom Penh. Le telegram contenait un message me disant de rentrer à Phnom Penh. What was the telegram sent by Mr. Noon Chea or Mr. Q Sampan? Mr. Noon Chea or Mr. Q Sampan qui a envoyé le telegram. In fact, the telegram was not sent to me, it was sent to the village chief, to the cadre, and telling me to 
go back to Phnom Penh. Et l'on m'y demandait de rentrer à Phnom Penh. Just so, just so I'm clear, was this, was this a telegram that told all the cadres there to come to Phnom Penh, or just you? There were others who went to the Pravi here with me. Il y avait d'autres personnes qui étaient six. allées à Pravi pour moi, avec moi. Au total, six personnes. But as for me, a village chief told me. Mais en ce qui me concernait. That or told me that I village, did not know that there was an independent celebration at Phnom Penh, and now I was told to go back there. When did you la oh, first learn uh, that Phnom Penh, the, the, re the residents of Phnom Penh, had been evacuated? I did not know about this. When did you arrive in Phnom Penh when you returned from Prevahir? Quand êtes-vous arrivé à Phnom Penh depuis Prevahir? As I remember, réponse. It was in the Je 20th of May. Que le 20 mai. Rather, April. Ou plutôt, en avril. And Question. were there still people in Phnom Penh at that time, or had the city already been evacuated? La ville avait déjà, avait déjà été évacuée. The people were not yet réponse. evacuated out of Phnom Penh at that time, Pen. after I arrived. À mon arrivée. I saw people were walking vu out of the Phnom Penh, but I did not know where they marchaient. were heading to. Ils sortaient de Phnom Penh, mais je ne savais pas où ils allaient. Excuse me. Who, who was it that took you uh, to Phnom Penh at that time? It was the messenger stations in Pravi here who brought me. Messagers to Phnom Penh. Who brought me to Phnom Penh? Were Were you surprised Question. when you saw all the people leaving the city? Were you surprised to see all the residents leaving the city? Were you surprised to see all the residents leaving I was not aware that those were the evacuated people. En fait, je ne savais pas I was not aware of that. Des je n'en étais pas conscient. Did you ever ask Question. anyone why the city had been evacuated? Pourquoi on avait évacué la ville? No, I did not. Réponse, non. What were you assigned to do when you arrived in Phnom Penh? Quelles tâches vous ont été confiées quand vous êtes arrivé à Phnom Penh? When I arrived in Phnom Penh, réponse. I was told to quand je suis arrivé à Phnom Penh, work, or I was taken to 
a curved house behind your village there was a residence place residential place à une maison il s'agissait d'un établissement résidentiel This curved house was this part maison, uh, of B1 or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? De B1 ou du Ministère des Affaires étrangères. The curved house was Réponse. Cette maison en forme the Ministry de of Foreign Affairs. Était le Ministère des Affaires étrangères. And is that the location at which you worked Question. from April 1975 until January 1979? Bob. That's right. C'est exact. How many people Question. worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Combien de personnes travaillaient-elles au ministère des Affaires étrangères I do not know. Réponse. Je ne sais pas. Tell us what your Question. role or position was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Pouvez-vous nous décrire At the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I typed. That was my work. Au ministère, j'étais dactylographe. C'était mon travail. What is it that you typed? Question. Et quels étaient les documents que vous tapiez à la machine? I don't really, really remember. It has been a long time. Ça fait assez longtemps. Je ne m'en souviens plus. I don't remember what I typed. Je ne me souviens plus de ce que j'avais. Did you have any responsibility for passports during the time you worked for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Quand vous travaillez au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Réponse. At that time, I did help prepare passports. À l'époque, j'ai assisté à la, en fait, j'ai aidé à la préparation des passeports. There is to write passports for those who Je was going to work abroad. Préparer des passeports pour ceux qui allaient travailler à l'étranger. And did you have any responsibility related to passports of people from foreign countries who came to Cambodia? responsibility aussi pour les passeports de personnes étrangères qui venaient travailler au Cambodge. No, I was not responsible for that job. Non, cela ne faisait pas partie de mes tâches. I just Ticked the names of those who came from abroad. Je cochais les noms de ceux qui they were venaient from de l'étranger. And why they were coming Je to Cambodia and what they were working in Cambodia. Pourquoi ils venaient Pourquoi venaient-ils au Cambodge et quel était le travail qu'ils venaient faire au Cambodge Voilà la tâche que j'avais à cet égard. The, the, the people that you're talking about who came from abroad. Where, where is it that you uh, spoke to these people Où leur avez-vous parlé Où les avez-vous rencontrés I did not talk Réponse. to these people. Je ne leur ai pas parlé. But when they came, they had their Mais lorsque ces own personnes passports. arrivaient, ils avaient leur propre passeport. And people who were working at the place, who were cadres, Et des cadres told me that 
these people were asking for permission to go to this particular place for example ces personnes demandaient l'autorisation de pouvoir aller à tel ou tel endroit It has been 30 years. How savez, could I remember all the things? Je ne peux pas me souvenir de tout. Did, did you have any responsibility of keeping trap, keeping track of foreign diplomats who were visiting Cambodia? Gardez un, un registre des uh, diplomates étrangers qui visitaient le Cambodge. No, I did not. Réponse. Non. During the period you worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, did any of the other people who worked there disappear? Y a-t-il eu des gens avec qui vous travaillez ont-ils disparu? I am not sure about that. Je ne suis pas certain. Do you recall Question. ever seeing any people who were arrested and taken away from the ministry? Souvenez-vous avoir vu des gens être arrêtés et euh, emmenés quand vous travaillez au ministère? No, I do not. No. I forget or. J'ai tout oublié. We'll come back to that. Were you ever asked to prepare a your own biography while you worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Alors que vous travaillez au ministère. Yes, I was. Réponse. Oui. Tell us about who, who was it that asked you to prepare a biography and why? Qui vous a demandé de préparer votre biographie et pourquoi? It was my immediate Réponse. supervisor. C'était mon supérieur immédiat. We were working together in that section of the ministry. Nous travaillions ensemble dans cette section du ministère. Who was your immediate supervisor, Question. and what Qui is it that he said to you immédiat? about preparing a, bi a biography? Que vous a-t-il dit? quant à la préparation de votre biographie. At that time, my Réponse. immediate supervisor was Sun Sikun. À l'époque, c'était Sun Sikun qui était mon supérieur immédiat. What did Mr. Sun Sikun tell you as to why it was that you had to prepare a biography? Que vous a-t-il dit? propos de cette biographie que vous deviez rédiger. He did not tell me anything about that. He just Réponse. Non, il ne m'a rien dit à ce propos. Il m'a dit de rédiger And une biographie. So I wrote it. Donc je l'ai fait. Were you told by anyone Question. that you had been accused of being CIA? On vous accusait d'être à la solde de la CIA. No, I don't think so. Réponse. But Mr. Non, Yingsari asked me personally. Mais Monsieur Yingsari m'a demandé personnellement. When I joined. CIA, 
I told him I never si joined CIA. Si j'avais rejoint la CIA, ou si je faisais partie, j'ai répondu Pat que Chia. non. Pat Chia, rather. And I said I, I did. We were studied together and we played footballs together. Il m'a encore demandé si je connaissais Chuck Chia. Mais we dit did que exercise together. On faisait de l'exercice ensemble. On avait joué au football ensemble. C'est ce que je lui ai répondu. When was it that Question. Ying Siri asked you if you were CIA? Quand Ying Siri vous a-t-il demandé si vous faisiez partie de la CIA? Réponse. It was when I was in Hanoi. C'est quand j'étais à Hanoi. And the person that Mr. Ying Siri asked whether you knew, who, who, who was that person? Que Ying Siri vous a demandé si vous la connaissiez. Qui était cette personne? Could you please ask again? Yes, I'm sorry. You, you indicated that Mr. Ng Siri had asked you whether you were CIA and also asked you whether you knew a certain person. Uh, I, want, I wanted you to repeat who, who the person was that Mr. Ng Siri asked you whether you knew. And what did that person do? Who, who was that person? It was the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. C'était le ministère des Affaires étrangères. Of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs where I worked. Il était responsable du ministère des Affaires étrangères là où j'ai travaillé. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't asking you who, who Mr. Ying Siri was. I was asking again, could you repeat the name of the person that Mr. Ying Siri asked whether you knew? Que Monsieur Ying Siri voulait savoir si vous la connaissiez. He asked about Tajir. Réponse. Son nom told him est about Tajir. Ta who, who was Tajir? Qui était Tajir? Tajir was, or he joined, or he went to pedagogical school with me. But we were studying different classes. Été à l'école pédagogique avec moi, mais nous étions dans des together. classes différentes. Toutefois, nous faisions we du sport ensemble. Nous étions dans la même équipe. We played for that school. Donc, nous faisions du sport à cette école. Why was Mr. Ng Siri interested in whether you knew Tachia? Why was he asking you whether you knew Tachia? It probably because he knew that Tachia was a CIA. Il savait que Tachia faisait partie de la CIA. And there was report that I was close to Tachia. Il y avait des rapports comme quoi j'étais proche de Tachia. That was why Yang Siri asked me. Voilà pourquoi Yang Sari m'a demandé si je le connaissais. 
what did Mr. Tachchia do during the years uh, after, I'm sorry, what did Mr. Tachchia do after April 1975? Was he part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Tachio was a teacher trainee Il in French des in French literature. En littérature française. W was he located in Cambodia after April 1975? And if so, where did he work? Et le cas échéant, où travaillait-il At that time, he stayed in that pedagogical school. Il était he was à à a teacher trainee. Cette école, il so était he un... was living or staying in that school. Tagiaire. He was on a scholarship. Et il vivait à il but I did not know where he went bourse. after that. Mais je ne sais pas où il est allé après cela. Who, who is it that told you that Tach Chia was CIA? Response. I don't know. I don't know why he asked me about Tachi. I don't know why he asked me about Tachi. Si Tach I Did Mr. Ing Suri tell you that Tachi had implicated you as a CIA agent? Si Tachi, you have dénoncé comme agent de la CIA. Response. No. Réponse. Mr. Ying Seri no. did not uh, say who Tachia was. No, Ying Seri ne m'a pas dit qui était Tachia. Was it after this conversation Question. with Mr. Ying Seri that you were asked to prepare your biography? Response. Réponse. After that, uh, I was asked to write my detailed biography Après, on, on that. On m'a demandé de rédiger une biographie I détaillée. Had to. I wrote my biography for one year. Et cela m'a pris un an. We we have a document that we've identified uh, that I would like to show to you to find out whether this was your biography or part of the biography that you that you prepared. Uh, I will just have we'll just have to work out the logistics. But at this at this point, Mr. President, there is a document that we believe. Uh, is Mr. Long Noren's biography that we would like, if possible, to show to him.
bật đây lần này đó mong xong là mong nâng chụp tổng rạng hơi tổng rạp ngày này để chân này cả The President Since it is now an appropriate time for the adjournment the chamber would suggest that this production of the document be made tomorrow session so we begin the tomorrow session with the presentation of the biography at nine o'clock. Publics and parties to the proceeding are advised to come to the hearing uh, to the courtroom at nine o'clock. And Mr. Longnoren, please be advised that uh, you uh, would have to give testimony again at nine o'clock tomorrow. Security personnel are now instructed to bring the accused back to the detention facility and return them to the courtroom by 9 o'clock. The graffiti all rise.